The South African Paramount Group have expanded their range of wheeled armoured vehicles over the last five years. They're originally 4x4 four four protective vehicles and internal security vehicles. They then moved on to the Mombombi 6, and the latest one is the Mombombi 8. And as the name implies, it is an eight-wheeler. It has been developed, like all Paramount vehicles, using independent research and development funding in response to the market requirements for a vehicle with more mobility, a higher level of protection, more volume and more payload. The vehicle, as we said, has been developed for a private venture and two vehicles are currently running. The very first example is in Kazakhstan and the second advanced vehicle is shown here. By having two vehicles, it allows one vehicle to be on overseas trials and the other one being kept in country for potential customer demonstrations. It has been shown fitted a wide range of turrets, perhaps one of the most interesting one. It was fitted with a mock-up of the Russian 57mm turret, um, remote control, which is still under development. If you look at this particular one, this is fit fitted with a one-person turret, developed in South Africa, armed with the uh, Russian 30mm 2A42 dual-feed cannon. And it's not fitted here, but on the left side would be a 7.62 uh, coax machine gun, and you can see the, the banks of, of grenade launchers. It's a dual feed cannon, and the operator is seated inside and controls the weapon using two control hangers. Typical would have a, a, a charge coupled drive day camera and a thermal camera and a, a laser rangefinder, but there's a lot of flexibility on that. In fact, the whole idea of this vehicle is you can adopt it to meet your customer's own requirements. This particular vehicle has got commander and driver at the front, gunner in the turret and eight dismounts. The latter are seated in the back of the vehicle and can enter and leave by a power operated ramp and that can be operated by the dismounts in the back or in the driver. So the ramp goes down, they unbuckle their seats which are all of the blast attenuating type and they all pile out the back. It's got a very high level of cross-country mobility and early this week I had a chance to drive this at the Gerotark testing range and I can assure you the mobility is, is exceptional. It's very good going. In addition to being used as an armoured person aircraft, obviously this would be probably classed as an infantry fighting vehicle and you would develop a whole range of other variants such as ambulance, command posts and perhaps uh, even an anti-tank vehicle fitted with, 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 with missiles. But it is a modular design and the, the end customer will probably select what weapon system it want. Does it want it communications, electronic archery? Some of those items are actually provided as government furnished equipment, so all of the end users' fleet can have the, the same elements. Production vehicles could come from South Africa or if they could come from overseas, like in the case of the or contract for Marauder, South Africa supplied the first vehicles, then they supplied them in kit form, and today the country is welding the hulls and coming out final assembly, but with the engine, transmission and suspension coming from South Africa.